He struggled being alone, um, needed frequent reminders that somebody was there, and then eventually he stopped sleeping. Tara's eight-year-old son and lots of other kids, especially those with learning challenges, are finding it hard to sleep well during the pandemic. They sense the stress in their world, and all of our schedules are now way out of whack. People, you know, are staying up later. They're not getting up as early. Tara got help at Nemours A.I. DuPont Hospital for Children. When our rhythms of our lives are disrupted, when our routines are disrupted, uh, our sleep gets affected. Dr. Chickadell is the chief of pulmonology and sleep medicine. He says a good night's sleep actually comes from a whole day strategy and consistency at bedtime. He says it's key to stick as closely as possible to a seven day bedtime routine. Don't let your kids have screen time and social media time in their room close to bedtime. Bedrooms need to be cool, dark, and quiet. And you might want to try different relaxation techniques to help your kids wind down. The doctor also says regular consistent exercise is also a huge deal for sleep. A bike ride like this or a nice walk during the day, get some air in your lungs. It helps kids get to sleep better. It gives them a better quality, deeper sleep too. I mean, setting up the stage for a restful night's sleep is so important. All of these tips will hopefully help your kids sleep better now, but stick with these sleepy time strategies even once the pandemic ends. Tim Furlong, NBC 10 News.